This video will teach you how to find the square and cubed roots using prime factorization. To begin, we have to talk about what is a perfect square. We can say that a perfect square is a number that can be expressed as the product of two equal integers. In this example, we're going to look at the number 9. 9 is a perfect square because we can rewrite that as 3 times 3. We can also show that in a diagram of a square with equal side lengths of 3, and we can say that's in two dimensions. The first example asks us to find the square root of the numbers using prime factorization, and example A is looking at the square root of 25. To begin, I'm going to make my prime factor tree. I'm going to say 25 can be split up into the prime factors of 5 and 5. On the side, I can rewrite this as a square has the side lengths of 5 and 5, and the square root of 25 we can say equals 5, as we know. The second example asks us to find the square root of the numbers using prime factorization where our number is 75. Again, we're going to start by doing our prime factor tree for the number 75. It can be factored into 3 and 25, and 5 can be factored into 5 and 5. Now we're going to go ahead and write this on the side. The square root of 75 equals the square root, and we're writing this in expanded form, 3 times 5 times 5. You notice the numbers that we have here. We cannot write those as identical number pairs, so we can say the square root of 75 is not a whole number. The third example asks us to find the square root of 225 using prime factorization. Again, we're going to start by doing the prime factor tree for 225. 3 and 75 are factors of 225, 3 and 25 are factors of 75, and 5 and 5 are factors of 25. The square root of 225 will equal the square root of 3 times 3 times 5 times 5. And our goal now is to look at the numbers in the expanded form in the square root and put those in identical pairs, and we can do that as 3 times 3 and 5 times 5. Let's simplify that to say that the square root of 225 equals take one number from each pair. So the first pair is 3. Multiply that by the second pair, which is 5. And the square root of 225 will equal 15. A little bit more difficult than squared roots are the next step up what is a cubed root. So we can look at a cube here in three dimensions and we could say as an example the sides are all two units and we could say 2 times 2 times 2 can be simplified to 2 to the power of 3 which is 8 units of whatever we're looking at. A cubed root we probably would write it as the cubed root of 8 equals 2. Again it Cubed roots are three-dimensional. The example we're looking at asks us to find the cubed root of 64 using prime factorization. I know I'm going to start my question by setting up a prime factor tree. 64 is factored into 2 and 32, and 2 is factored into 2 and 16. 2 and 8 make 16, and 2 and 4 make 8, and we can simplify that to 2 and 2. The cubed root of 64 will equal the ends of our factor tree multiplied together. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now we go ahead and look at those numbers and see if we can make identical triplets in this case because we're looking at the cubed root. 2 times 2 times 2 is one pair and 2 times 2 times 2 is the other pair. We're looking at the cubed root of 64 equals borrow one number from each triplet pair. 2 times 2, so the cubed root of 64 equals 4. Be sure to check the video out on the card above and subscribe to the How To Scholar for more how-to videos.